Welcome to Learning React with me. In this video, we are going to see how to navigate programmatically in React Router v6. In version 5, we used history object to navigate from one route to another. I would recommend you to go through those videos to understand this concept better. In version 6, use history is no longer available. We have use navigate hook to achieve the same. Let's see how we can use it. I have created two components, login and register, with a simple text to identify the component and added them to the routes as well. In the home component, let us add two buttons. One for login and the other for register. And let us add on click events to these two buttons. When I click on login, I want to navigate to slash login. And when I click on register, I want to navigate to slash register. In order to do that, we need a hook called use navigate from React Router DOM. So let's import it. This use navigate hook will return a function. So let's store that function in a variable with name navigate. Now let us add on click events to these buttons. And this will take a function which would use navigate function to route to the path slash login. Let me add the same to register button as well. And this should take us to the route slash register. So when I click on login, it would invoke this navigate function where we passed slash login path. So we will be redirected to slash login path. Let's save the changes and move to the browser. Now when I go to home, we see two buttons, login and register. Let me click on login. We navigated to slash login and we see the login text. And same with the register button as well. When I click on register, we move to slash register path and we see the register component. Also, in v5, we used history objects, push and replace. Here, navigate with just a path will push the path to the history stack. In order to replace the path, we need to use an option called replace. So let me add an option, which is a object with property replace. If I make it true, instead of pushing this path to the history stack, we are going to replace the top of the history stack. So let me just go to the browser. Let's come uh, before that let me go to the root now let's go to home and when I click on login let's see if this is pushed or replaced now if I go back in the browser it should take me to the home if it is pushed or it should take me to the root component if it is replaced so let me click back we are to the root component because instead of pushing we made replace true that means the top of this tag slash home is replaced with slash login. So the so when I click on browser back button, the previous route would be root. It's not slash home because it was replaced. We also saw go, go back and go forward with the use history hook in v5. The same can be achieved using use navigate hook. Let me add two buttons in the app.js file. Uh, let me just add a separator and let me add two buttons, one to go back and the other to go forward. Now, when I click on this button, I should go back one step. In order to do that, I can simply use navigate function with a positive or negative number. If I use a positive number, 
it would go forward in the history stack. If I use a negative number, it would go backward in the history stack. So let me just give a negative number here. And let's do the same thing for go forward. Instead, we give a positive number. But before that, don't forget to import use navigate uh, hook from React Router DOM and also to store the use navigate, the function returned by use navigate hook in a variable called navigate. So let's save it and go back to the browser. Now, uh, just to distinguish, let me give a class name button hyphen md and do the same for go forward as well. Okay. So we are in the root of this application. Now let me click on home, users, about, contact us. Now when I click on go back, it should go one step back in the history stack. So I'll click on go back. We are now in about. When I click on back again, it should go back to users because I clicked on users before clicking on above, right? So go back, it went to users. Go back, it went to home. Go back, it went to root. Now I want to move forward in the history stack. So we are in the root and the next root in the stack was home. So go forward, it goes to home. Go forward, it goes to users and then to about and then to contact us. So this is all about use navigate and how it can be replaced with use history hook when migrating from React Router version 5 to version 6. Hope this concept is clear. If the content is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.